Okay, this is my 2D printer that I built with all these storages below and with this uh, plastic dryer. So this is food dryer actually. Just regular food dryer from Amazon. I bought for like 25, 30 bucks, and you can always have your filament dried. It's a very great thing. So. And I have all this windows is here that I built. Can open any time I to access in. Yeah, this is all the merchandise that I stored here, all kind of parts, spare parts, and spools, whatever I need for that. It's here. So yeah. All parts, spares. Anyway, this is actually removable too. I can remove any time. So I can remove this to access the whole machine. So no problem with that. Anyway, right now I'm, I'm actually printing masks for all this coronavirus stuff. I'm uh, building all these masks. Masks just takes like five hours, six hours to build that. And this is PETG. I'm printing mostly 99% of the time. I deal with the PETG. That's the great, great plastic that I uh, use so far. The um, Uh, a, a, a very functional part actually I can get from a PETG it's, it's much better than a PLA and ABS of course and yeah very nice filament anyway it works good I did tons of modifications here of course and uh, I, I would say 95% of the of the printer I changed 99% so I'm using 16 millimeter y-axis rods instead of initial eight millimeter that I get. So I have 16 millimeter rods. So it's it's very stable. My axis and my my glass thickness is a quarter inch thick. My aluminum table is a quarter inch thick and I use a uh, NEMA 23 more and not, not 17. I use a NEMA, NEMA 23. I put double belts, double 10 millimeter belts. So, yeah, pretty much I change everything. I change everything. And an A plus, 95% change. So I use instead of bottoms for the Z axis. Uh, two motors here, I put them actually on the top. It's much better here, and I have a belt that drives the axis. Actually, one of the motors is idling, but uh, this, this motor is actually uh, powering the z-axis. Okay. Anyway, it looks good, so... Using a, a, a pretty much aluminum, most of the time, I just use plastic here, PTG printed plastic slant here. The rest is aluminum. I, I use mostly for aluminum for my project. Everything. Anyway. So, anyway, I changed 95% of the M of A. Plus. And that's completely new to me. And I'm using the same standard board, electronic board of the Anit A Plus. So um, yeah, it's it's very really good printer now. With all this uh, modification, it works good. So I can't complain. It works very really good now. So anyway. Yeah, with very heavy table and I'm not really trying to feel more I don't have any kind of problem. Uh, I just print and print and print and no more problem with it. Anyway. Yeah, this is actually outside. I place it here under the shade. 
Yeah, I don't care about the fumes, smell, whatever. It's a uh, fire hazard, whatever. It's very safe. Yeah. So that's my backyard. Nice California weather. Anyway. Yeah, this is done already. Probably All right, that's the masks that can help a lot to protect against the coronavirus. Yeah. Double shield, uh, no, I mean uh, with a hood, and I use actually some very small tiny screws to fix the PETG plastic. Yeah. Uh, 